My name is Sarko Gergerian. By day, I'm a police lieutenant with the Winthrop, Massachusetts Police Department and a psychotherapist at night. People might be shocked that a police officer is advocating for psychedelics, but I believe we're in the middle of a mental health crisis across the whole country. I wanna bring psychedelic assisted psychotherapy to the police because in policing, PTSD is a big problem. There's a lot of uncertainty with this type of work. You don't know what kind of a call is gonna come in. Anytime an officer is waking up to go to work, their, their nervous system's activating in a really distinct kind of way. You're not going in calm. You're tensed up, you're jacked up a little bit. You have a little bit of cortisol and adrenaline going through your bloodstream. And that's a daily occurrence. Over time, over time, over the course of an entire career, it can cause problems. We're seeing the rapid escalation of death by suicide in officers. The numbers related to depression, the numbers related to suicidality, anxiety, they're staggering. Your past and your training and experience go into the way that you act on the street. Trauma tends to narrow people's perspective. Trauma taps into fundamental fear responses. It creates an us and them perspective. We're in a point in history right now where that needs to change. It's really important for us to not have a knee on the throat of a civilian. We need to get together. We need to take walls down. And I think that medications like MDMA will be able to help with that because it'll temper down that fear response. It'll bring in new perspective or widen perspective to allow for ideas around being one group, one family. My MDMA experience was federally sanctioned, a part of a research protocol when the medicine took effect, I had this deep, overwhelming sense of love come across me. But what happened right after that sense of love was a sense of gratitude. And it gave me the needed perspective as to how MDMA is gonna help somebody that's struggling with treatment-resistant severe PTSD. Our officers will make decisions better if they are rested, if they are well, if their resiliency is at the highest capacity. I care about helping with that because I'm helping not only the officers, but that person that intersects with them in that moment where that decision might have to be made and maybe the best possible decision will be made. We're on a precipice of a sea change in the way we help people. We need to destigmatize access. We need to speed up access. We need to get enough therapists trained because when used carefully, cautiously, with care and guidance under certain protocols, I think these medicines can be very, very effective and helpful in people dealing with their suffering. So. I mean, that's pretty bold, right? I mean, a police officer advocating the use of what currently is a Schedule One substance. Uh, what do you guys think about what you just heard? Well, You're all stunned. I, I think that it 